Hey everyone, jumping in to answer a question coming out of our community following one of our recent videos on Theta Decay. Does Theta Decay over the weekend? Yes, it does. So just to recap again, Theta Decay, in simple terms, is a process where the value of an option is going to decline or decrease as time passes and gets closer to that option's expiration date. So Theta Decay, Time Decay, think of the value of that options premium decaying as time gets closer to expiration. So typically options models are going to factor in weekends and although there are only five trading days, options models are going to account for seven days in a week. So what we're looking at here is November 10th, 2023. And how do we see that, you know, those weekend days are factored in? <clears throat> well, this is the option chain for XPX. So this is going to be the 10th, which is a Friday here. So November 13th, which is the Monday, there are three days of expiration for this option, meaning Saturday, Sunday, and Monday from that Friday. And when you see an option that is 21 days expiration, December 1st here, that's three full weeks. That is not four trading weeks. So let's look at that options um, <clears throat> option spread for. So let's actually look at this November 13 set of contracts. So I'm going to actually turn on theta or put theta in this chain here in this view, just so we can see and dig in a bit deeper on this. All right. <clears throat> So again, we're here on Friday morning of November 10th, looking at options that will expire Monday, November 13th. So looking at this theta column here, what do these numbers mean? So we talked about theta being expressed as a negative value. That's because for all else, else held equal, each day that goes by, the value of this option contract will go, go down by that value, which here looking at in at the money put is $2.56. So for each day, which will be three come Monday, this contract will go down by $2.56. So if I'm gonna go forward in time to Monday morning here, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday should see this option contract go down by $2.56. So, you know, roughly $7.50. So this options contract is at $2.40. By Monday, this should go down and bring this contract down to somewhere around $5. And I'm looking at the sell side, so the bid side here. On the ask side, same thing. That should come down to, in that case, somewhere around $6. So the bid ask spread should be still around a dollar and should be between $5 and $6 total for the buy and the ask side. Now let's just make sure that plays out. So the date is loaded, all the pricing should be correct. So 43.60, well, went down even more than that. Uh, that 43.60 put contract is actually now at between 75 cents and 80. So theta decayed faster over the weekend, so all else was not held constant. Um, likely in this scenario, on that Friday, SPX probably went down, making that 4360 put contract further in the money than being at the money in the last uh, last time we looked at this.